Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. I'm your Dungeon Master Darius. Last we left off, I was having myself a bad time in the Mer in the Merkin Square. Uh, we were having ourselves a terrible, terrible bad time. So I decided, you know what? Might be a good time to pick up, go back, and uh, do some stuff that isn't clearly going towards the plot. And uh, as you can see, we actually it actually does mark off the bridge. Which then points to these other places that I suppose now we can actually go to. But, first and foremost, I want to go back to the Defender's Heart. Yes. And... Hope. Oh, okay. And uh, hope that I can sell some shit before getting into combat, because we are laden down with loot. After trying to leave this place. Ugh. Who opposes us? Wearing a robe? Check. Baphomet symbol around the neck? Check. Crazy eyes? Check. Note to self, bring a mirror next time to be able to adjust the optimal level of eye craziness. Everything is ready for the experiment. Uh... An audience. Problematic, but not critical. You there, boy. Stay out of this. It is counterproductive to stand in the way of scientific progress. I'm sorry, who are you? What are you doing here? Who's that? I don't know her. Greetings, boys and girls. I am your sister in sin, a devotee of Lord Baphomet's dark will and so on and so forth. She looks like one of us. But she talks kind of weird. Who's there with you? Who? Oh, them. Just an audience. They don't matter. Consider them a supplementary component of the coming experiment. I... Mm, I don't hate her so far, but at the same time, what the ever-loving crap. I'm just going to remain silent. Baphomet, please be so kind as to undertake a little test of your competency in our wicked cause. Let's start with something simple. So here's my first question. What is Lord Baphomet's favorite weapon? We will not answer to you. Our Lord can wield any kind of weapon. He is all-powerful. Wrong. He wields no weapons at all. He doesn't need any. He just gores his enemies with his horns. Actually, it's Azergal, a glaive made of red adamantine. That is correct. But still, boy, no prompting, please. This experiment has taken quite a surprising turn. I would never have expected the followers of the great Baphomet to be baffled by such a simple question. Fine. Let's recalibrate the difficulty and proceed with the next question. Please name Lord Baphomet's sacred animal. A bull! Of course everybody knows that. Yep, and a cow. I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna continue being the um actually guy. It's an Aurox, as a matter of fact. I'd like to ask you to stop prompting them, but it seems they could do with a prompt or two. It appears the experiment has yielded results which are as unexpected as they are incredible. Baphomet's cultists have not the slightest idea about who Baphomet really is, let alone any in-depth knowledge of his ideology or philosophy. I'm positive that this news will cause a sensation in widest scientific circles. Oh god! Baphomet's followers are stupid! Damn it! She's right. I'm a shitty excuse for a cultist. And my mother used to tell me to become a plowman. Hey, take it easy! We've only had two questions. You there, come on, ask another one. We'll get the next one! You know what? Yeah! Ask them some more. They might still manage it. Is there any sense in continuing? You cannot answer the simplest of questions. I am ashamed of all of you, as cultists and as individuals. Please, ask again. I can answer. I'm sure I can. <sighs> How do you spell Baphomet's name? <laughs> oh, my God. B A F A. Oh, screw it. To hell with Baphomet. I thought it was gonna be fun, but instead there are all these questions. 
I'm done here. I'm going back to my home village, back to my mother. <laughs> hey, wait! You there! How dare you stir up discord in our ranks? Grab her and tie her up! And her entire entourage, too! The experiment is complete. Unable to deal with the questions, the cultists decide to deal with the examiner instead. A typical reaction for a person who has never been burdened with any intelligence. Now you're gonna start hitting each other, aren't you? Please, proceed. I won't interrupt. If I can get her in the party, I'm totally doing so. That's just... Hmm. Raid A hilarity ensued. Right there. Ah. <laughs> uh, good shit. Good shit indeed. Anyways, let's murder them. Bonk. It's a bad bonk, but a bonk nonetheless. Oh, they're level four. And level two. And level four. Let's, t let's kill the cultists first. Give me this. Ow. Wait. Oh, might have mini shot. Okay. Um. Night, night. Love Ember. Now, can you? No. Just get right up on his face, please, then. Let's see. It's a full round action to coup de gras someone. But, Wooljif, why don't you just chill out right there? Strike as one. Strike as one. Or not at all. That, uh, so that that doesn't work as well. Jesus, Windowag. Okay. Still sleepy sleep. Alright, uh, how can I... Two degree... Actions? Yes. Two de grass. Full round action, you can use a melee weapon to deliver a coup de grace. Coup de gras, or however the frick you say it, because apparently it's supposed to be French. To a helpless opponent, you automatically hit and score a critical hit. If the defender survives the damage, they must make a fortitude save, DC 10, plus the attacker's base attack bonus, plus the melee damage ability modifier, plus the weapon's critical modifier, <gasps> or die. Delivering coup de gras provokes attacks of opportunities, cannot deliver coup de gras against a creature that's... Alright, shift click. Is immune to critical hits. Two, de, gra. Are you still living? Yeah, okay. Not helpless, but that works. The absence of an answer is an answer too. I mean, yeah, but not when it's a quiz. The result is statistically predictable, especially considering their intelligence level. What about you, boy? Are you ready to answer some questions for the good of science? Let's proceed with the experiment. My first question is simple. Which colors does the goddess Iomade prefer? You haven't the slightest idea, but perhaps you can guess. Who are you and what's this all about? I am the one asking questions here. Answer them, and well, then I'll satisfy your curiosity. No. Well, that's your right. <sighs> the experiment has come to a standstill due to the subject's refusal to cooperate. It seems to me that I owe you an explanation. My name is Nenio. I am an explorer. A pilgrim, a yet-to-be-recognized scientific luminary, future author of the great Encyclopedia Galarionica, and rector of all Absalom's universities at once. Future rector, I should say. I also know several spells. And why do you keep calling me boy? I have a name, you know. I apologize for an injury to your ego, but your name is irrelevant on the grand scale of the universe. Thus, it cannot possibly interest me. I will forget it as soon as I hear it. To avoid unnecessary confusion, I'd prefer to not know it at all. 
Words to have your head knocked off your block. Now, can you finally tell me what you were getting with all these questions? It is so heartening to see you strive for knowledge. I have been conducting an experiment comparing the intellectual abilities of the average cultist with those of the average crusader. Unfortunately, the experiment has proven that the opposing parties possess approximately equal faculties in this regard. A shame, indeed, for I have always claimed that despite the popular beliefs about the limited intellectual abilities of those in the army, at least some of them can be considered educated. It appears I was mistaken. They are trying to say that I am mediocre. Yes. Oh, God, she's a know-it-all. Like, I love the entire situation of, you know, finding her and more or less interrogating the... Interrogating and freaking pointing out how stupid the Baphomet clerics are. Or, not even clerics, cultists. But God damn. <laughs> like, I hate a know-it-all. But she could be useful. Uh, let me guess, she's a wizard. Kinnabrest isn't safe right now, shall we join forces? Do you wish to become my follower? No. To accompany me on my expeditions to the world wound? To assist me in my experiments? To run errands for me? Perhaps even to write down my deepest thoughts for the benefit of future generations? Oh, how splendid! Of course, I agree. I... am going to rip out your heart and sacrifice it to Zong Kuthon. Just saying. Truth be told, I have no money to pay you. But you will be aiding the progress of science, and that is its own reward. If we join forces, you'll have to follow my instructions during our expeditions. Huh? What? Oh, yes, the dangers and these battles. Of course, I will follow your orders. I place my life in your capable hands, so I can focus on the things that really matter. All right. Excellent. You're hired. To think that I finally found someone to accompany me. 27 crusaders before you said no. Not one of them saw the undeniable appeal of my offer. Your first assignment is to take me to a safe place. I have to admit that today's experiment has left me quite tired. I all regret my decision. Just saying. Ninyo Human Intelligence Scroll Savant. The line between fascination and obsession cannot be seen up close, only from a distance. Ninio considers herself a great scholar, master of all sciences, and an unparalleled experimenter, but most others see her as a lunatic, enthralled to magic. Yep, nope, that's that's 100% what I'm seeing too. Alright, so she does not like necromancy. All about abjuration, which is a pretty cool school. Ah, Nethys. Ah, that, that makes all the sense now. Arcane Bond. Use once per day. Oh, neat. Alright, what do you got? Your... Okay, no, no, no. I, I was reading that wrong. Obs obs bleh. Opposition school is aberration, as well as necromancy. And then she decided to take illusion. Which, alright. Keen senses. Alright. Dwarves, elves, gnomes, half elves, half orcs, halflings, kitsune, and old reeds receive a plus two bonus on perception checks. She's not telling me something. She sucks in martial stuff. What is your class exactly? Scroll savant? Some wizards consider scrolls a natural extension of their magical abilities. Go figure. Scroll focus. A scroll savant adds half his class level as a bonus on we use magic device checks. He also always takes a 10 on use magic device checks to cast a scroll from a spell from a scroll on a roll. If yeah. If 10 on a roll is high enough to consider a success. Okay. Yeah, she is a specialist of illusion. Yeah, I can already tell you, um, much as I love that whole scenario of getting to know her and whatnot, probably gonna ditch her. <laughs> Just saying. Ah, uh, right in the neutral. 
yeah, that, mm. I don't know. There's, there's definitely a thing about some characters where it's like, read the room. Uh, it was the same thing with that O Reed who was of all about warfare. I think it was a mages. That was all like, oh, this fight wasn't anywhere near as epic as the fight that happened so and so many years ago. And Ninio here don't think she can quite read the room about what's going on here. I don't know. Definitely annoys me simply because, you know, she can't seem to Understand what's going on around her at the moment. Oh, we're gonna loot all this. Oh, Rhea's sickening spell. This war must end. It really must. It really must. Unfortunately, uh, most of the people that I'm capable of surrounding myself with are idiots. Oh, right, you can't wear any armor at all because you're a witch. Oh. Sorry, you're gonna scratch my eye. Scratch my eye, rub my eye. Same difference, really. I won't lie, using the club with nails is kind of tempting for... Errant. Because at minimum, it does three damage. And at max, it can do ten with the enhancement bonus. Whereas the Cold Iron Masterwork Flail is looking at... Oh. Hmm. I'll keep it. That's for sure. We'll just go in on the spell. Thank you. And more loot. Alright. Party. I will guide us. Maybe if I take her to a safe place, she'll just leave me alone and never return. Again, I don't mind her as a character in the fact of what it is that she's all about, you know, trying to trying to find things. Okay. Trying to find uh, things and explore and categorize it and whatnot. It's interesting, it's fascinating, and all that fun shit. But there's a time and a place. And in the middle of a battlefield is not one of them. Uh-huh. So I'm gonna smack you, sir. Alright, Ninio. What ever so useful lovely things can you apparently do? Color spray, blending. I suppose I should have looked at her spells that she's prepared. Your image. Great hit. Oh, I love this spell. I didn't realize it was going to be in this. It's quite literally as it says it creates a pit in the ground. And people can fall into it and take damage based on your caster level. Wolf, Wolf Jeff, did you just fall into the hole? You know what? It's fine. It's 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 fine. I should have just used the uh, who's a Medusa. It? Um, wait, or not? Hello. Right. So getting Woolgif down there was my own bad. Bah. Because I forgot that it can affect pretty much anyone and everyone that is in that little extended area. Oh, yeah. Although he seems to have only taken one damage. Oh, 
Oh, I'm gonna collect it all, thinking about it. You too. Someone collect that shit. Alright, well, so far we've seen her capabilities as a wizard, which does show wizards are a rather powerful class and all that fun stuff. Even at low levels when they can just create pits on a whim. Okay. I gotta sell some shit. I gotta talk to some people. And then I want to check out the tieflings. Tieflings place, rather. Gonna be a lot of talky. Talky talky. Or I could talk is. All right, I'm done. <laughs> ah, I'm I'm super thankful that they decide to make it so as you walk your full pace when you're not in the middle of a, you know, but. All right. Uh, I want to keep any of the masterwork stuff. I can sell the composite stuff. Oh, that's a masterwork dagger. I should give that to Wolf. Mass work. Clubs, punching daggers. Yeah, I pretty much walked to the edge of the. Ugh, walked to the edge of the thing. It was all like, all right, I'm gonna collect everything just so as I can sell it. And of course, I forgot. Hey, I I still need to go through um. Go through the pains of trying to get through the, uh... Through to the next area, rather. Alright, keeping most of those. Right. Studded, scale... That's magic. One second. I'm not gonna have you. Not gonna have you. So far, my party consists of Ember, Wooljif, Windowag, and Sila. I think for the most part... Oh, wait. Press play. Is that better than hers? Hold up. Sila, is Breastplate better than your current armor? Seeing as your current armor is... Huh. No, it is not. I think it looks better, but... Yeah. The banded mail is a seven, and while the chain mail allows two decks, she's only got one dex, so there's no point in that. We'll go ahead and get rid of those. We'll save the Crypt Raider's armor for someone else that can wield medium armor. Same with the... That. I would like to sell the stuff that I know I'm not going to use. The junk stuff. I just forget where that is. The accessories. Uh, merchant will pay well for it. I don't know how much of this the merchant will pay well for it versus um, Like what am I trying to say the merchant will pay well for it versus actually useful stuff Let's put it that way Hmm brew potions Bottles of oil See, that's, that's the kind of thing. I know that adventurers can use bottles of oils for various things, but an item of interest to craftsmen and collectors. It would be lovely if there was some sort of a way to figure out, hey, would you kindly just let me sell this? Oh, wait. I wasn't scrolled all the way up. I 
guess I could sell the Masterwork Heavy Mace. I could have sworn that there was a sell in bulk button that was pretty much just, hey, I'm not going to use this. What will you take for it? I could get her... I could get Sella the Banded Male plus one. Or the Heavy Shield plus one. Decorative Facade. Receives plus one versus critical hits. They are effective. Uh, the, the, oh. Receives a critical hit. They are effective with the effect of a mirror image spell that produces two mirror images. Lasts two rounds. That's pretty cool. Plus four to AC against sneak ticks. As tempting as I am. As tempted as it is to get the living ram armor. Ooh. Masha. God. If I was playing a different character, I would happily take Smasher. Christian Dagger. Oh yeah, I need to... Oh no. I have a Masterwork Dagger. I don't need to give you a Masterwork Dagger. Uh, that said... If I could get two attrition daggers, that would be fantastic. Right, the heavy flail that I can't wield. Butcher of Wounded. Was there different stuff inside that I forgot? Pretty sure there was. Um, any useful accessories? Right, the rugged helmet. I'm not the one making the perception checks in the party. So, taking a damage reduction of three. So bloody tempting. Let's sell some of this other stuff really quick. Winnebag, what kind of crossbow did you have? Just a composite. All right, so I'm swapping that out with you. Don't need that masterwork dagger. I really, I really do need to keep some items just so as I can gear up some people. All right, yeah, I'm gonna, at the risk of being an idiot, lock pick, type scrolls. Rib bone meal. God, I hate this. Order. Weight, name, price. Hype. Would anyone blame me if I if I went and got a mod to make it so as I can actually separate the stuff between the collectible stuff that's only for merchants? Like, port. Alright. It's port. It's booze. I'm gonna guess I can use it in cooking. God, just collectively all the shit that we have. Oh, now my eyes suddenly decided to hurt. Silver frame. Silver earring. Silver disc. Bell. Don't know why the merchants would pay well for a rusty horseshoe. Maybe they wish to make a restoration channel on uh, YouTube. All right, sell the pearl. Sell the pearl. The pearl. Pearl. I could have seen as a thing that you could give uh, use for opponents. Rip scrolls and spider legs. See, it's shit like that. I have giant spider legs. Oh, right. Are they ingredient? Doesn't say so. 
So I guess I can sell them. For 80 gold a pop. That's pretty good. Don't know why I even grabbed the grinding stones. All the gems. Is this what you wanted? I, come on, I can totally use honey as an ingredient. But it's not here. It's that kind of shit. Would anyone blame me if I decided, hey, you know what? I'm just going to download a mod to get rid of this shit and just replace it with literally just money. Or at the least make it so as it will actually sort out the useless crap. I guess I can sell the cider. I guess I'll sell the honey, because I don't freaking know. Sell the plate. Sell the port. Because one of the things I know that I'm going to need <coughs> is money. Ah, uh, okay. I've I've stewed it over my head. I'm taking the ru the rugged helmet. A. Uh, because damage reduction is nice, especially when you're gonna be in the thick of melee combat. And B, I personally think that that looks better than this hat. Speaking of uh, looking better in a hat. You don't, in this case, but five more hit points for the squishy witch might be a good idea. Let's see, plus one damage rolls against demons, against swarms. You are wearing the braces of armor, so let's have you wear this. More damage against demons. You, you can wear the he the hide. But better would be this. Or would it? Three max decks versus three plus the max eight. No, eight versus. I can't math all of a sudden. Eight versus nine. Whereas this is one worse, but one better. But this provides bonuses to. AC versus undead, so yeah. Also, let's give you that masterwork composite bow. Because it does just as much damage, but... Am I dumb? Masterwork. What? Allows you to add strength. The point of mass work is to make it so as you de you have a plus one to attack. And yet, here we are. Not seeing that plus one change to attack. So I'm just a little bit perturbed. At, th at this. It's fine. We're fine. It's fine. Uh, it limits without armor. This would be plus 10. Yes, I know this. The reason why the max dex bonus. I did that. Is purely so that I can just be all like, okay, hey. Your AC is better now, even if it's by but only a couple of points. Alright, there's Camellia. Uh, there's an individual called Kyado. Was he here before? It was a Nev. Oh, right, and Nevia was, yeah. Lore. 
Where? Oh, there you are. Alright, time to see what your psychotic deal is. Boy, am I pleased with you. I asked you to bring me to safety, and that's exactly what you did. Indeed, having a follower to aid me is the most efficient and, frankly, pleasing. With you on hand, I shall conquer new horizons, plumb the depths of knowledge hither with, hitherto unknown, and scale the dizzying heights of future discoveries. What I mean is, I'd like to express my deepest gratitude. I foresee immense potential in our future cooperation. You always express your delight so... infusively. Huh? What? Who are you? She stares at you for a while, bewildered in her eyes, but then it is replaced by recognition. Oh yes, my new follower. So what am I supposed to do? Oh yes, I must provide some verbal encouragement for your as yet modest achievements and try to induce you to strive for much more encouragement as a principle that underpins any training. She frowns, but only an instant. Ah, I see, your modest nature was unsettled by my overabundance of gratitude. I do apologize for putting you in such an awkward position. I will never praise you again, unless I forget. But let's get back to business at hand. Your new assignment will be to take me to the inconspicuous wounds that are located in an even more inconspicuous valley lying between Canaparas and Dresden, as soon as it is reasonably pract practicable. Pract practicable? Practicable. I'll mark the place on your map with a large red cross so you won't forget it. Again. Don't necessarily hate her, but there's definitely a time and a place to be all... Academically. What's so special about these ruins near Tignobras? I'm glad you asked. I suddenly regret asking. This is my greatest hypothesis, my secret project, and I won't pass up the opportunity to share it with you because you are my lo most loyal follower and you are worthy of possessing such knowledge. And also because you're the first person to ever ask me about it. I wonder why. Some time ago, I was walking around the border of the world wound and I met a strange person. He was wearing a frayed gray robe and his face was hidden behind an odd white mask. Of course, I didn't miss the opportunity to ask him about the reasons for these absurd, this absurd appearance. And do you know what he said to me? He said, I am the answer, but what is the question? He then walked off in the direction of the world wound. The next day, after I am already forgotten about the first encounter, I had another similar encounter. This time it was an, I met an elven woman, judging by the pointy ears sticking out from behind the mask. I'm the answer, but what is the question? She said before taking off toward the world wound. And then I realized everything became clear to me. I know a mystery when I see one. Consider this one of my myriad talents. Here was the tip of her nose. After all, all these geysers were simply on their way to a costume party, weren't they? After examining several maps, I determined that they were all heading in one direction. To a place not far from Kennebrest, a place which is marked as nameless ruins even on ancient Sakurian maps. And that's where I need to go. Unraveling the secret of that place will be my greatest discovery. I will it will secure my place in history, or perhaps even in legend. How do you know where we have to go? Do you know how to find a beehive in a forest? You need to catch two bees, set them free in two different directions, locations of the forest, and remember the directions they fly in. Then you take a map and draw lines showing the bees' roots. The place where the lines intersect will mark the location of the beehive. Fascinating, yes? By the way, forest bees do not make any honey. I use the beehive principle here too. For a couple of months, I tracked the strange people in the masks and observed the direction in which they were traveling. I collected the coordinates, mapped their estimated routes, and made a discovery. All the routes intersected at the nameless ruins not far from Kinebrus. So what do you expect to find there? I haven't the slightest idea. But I know I knew what was hidden there. I wouldn't be so if I knew what was hidden there, I wouldn't be so eager to go. These ruins aren't very far from Kinebrus. You could easily get there by, by yourself. Why do you need me? Her eyes ready to pop out of her sockets in surprise. Don't you see? This is a legendary secret place. No one knows what may happen to me after I lift the veil and uncover the workings of the universe. My mortal body may be unable to contain all that knowledge, or perhaps I will ascend and become equal to the gods themselves. I need you to write down everything that happens and report my fate to the interested parties in Absalom. And don't forget to praise me as I deserve while you're there. No, these ruins of yours may just turn out to be just that. Ruins. 
In that case, we'll write this experiment off as a failure and start another one. I don't know which experiment I'll try next. Well, you know, so off we go. Did I just make a rhyme? Perhaps I've discovered poetic talent in myself. Let's conduct an experiment. Quickly, say a word and I'll try to find a rhyme for it. Um, uh, creation. Crustacean. Congitation. Not the best rhymes, don't you think? Well, this experiment was unsuccessful. We will learn that I have no poetic talent after all. There's no reason to despair. Having a you know, gift of poetry in addition to my inexhaustible intelligence would have been a little too much. Besides, I am cast catastrophically busy and have no time to spend on poetry. I don't like that you when you call me boy. My name is Errant. On a grand scale of world history, your name is irrelevant. I have no reason to remember it. See, the brain of any given individual can only contain, contain only a limited amount of facts. I only expend my memory on things that are truly important. The laws of thermodynamics, divine esoterica, planar geography, things that will lead Galarian to a brighter future. Besides, what if I make a great discovery but I won't be able to remember it because my memory is full of outdated or useless information? What a nightmare that would be. What a loss for the whole of Galarian. But you do remember your own name, right? Only so I know what to put on the author's name in my encyclopedia. Are there any names worth remembering? There are, and to my deepest regret, there are too many. He sighs a heavy sigh that would befit a stricken, grief-stricken old man. The name of gods and demigods, the name of rulers, conquerors, and other persons by some reason deemed great by the people of Galarian. They etch their names into history, and alas, every self-respecting, educated person must know them. There are some names I'm happy to remember. Great scientists, some of them divine, others mortal. True keepers of knowledge and great experimentalists. The pioneers of knowledge. Arori, Nethys, Arelu Vorlesh. Didn't expect you to mention Arelu. Interesting. Think so? She's the greatest of the greatest. Just imagine, she, ima she managed to open the rift from Glarian to the Abyss. No one no knew how, no one believed it possible. No one even dreamed of such a thing. And she just did it. It was the experiment of the century. I would have been so, so happy I could be there in her place. You guys remember the Ian Malcolm quote from Jurassic Park? Scientists didn't stop to think for a moment that they could and that they should or something like that. I feel like Nenio is like the epitome of that. Of course, some part of Galarian's population died as a result of her experiment, and the Crusader Crusaders are still wrestling with its consequences to this day, but the very essence of what Arelu managed to do was a breakthrough of cosmic significance, both figurative, figuratively and literally. Sooner or later, the Rolled Wound will be closed, peace will restore to Galarian, and as for the victims of the ongoing war, they will be remembered as unfortunate but avoidable sacrifices made at the altar of science. She's going very Mingala right now. Are we talking about something? Eh, tempting, but I, I'm going to need to earn that quest. So tell me about yourself. I'm an explorer, a pilgrim, yet to be recognized scientific luminary, future author of the Encyclopedia Galar Galarianica, and rector of all Absalom's University at once. Future rector, I should say. That information should be enough to satisfy your curiosity, because I doubt I will be able to tell you more than that. But where are you from? That information is irrelevant. I decided to forget it. How do you become a scientist? I'm seeing a circle here. You have a circle tattooed on your shoulder. What's it mean? Tied along the shoulder? Oh, that. I don't remember the circumstances of its creation, but I like it. Prefer to think of it as a zero, null, nothing, a center point, an origin of coordinates. It reminds me of how much of the unknown world there is to explore. You at least remember how you got the tattoo? The animation is real. Oh, okay. How can you just decide to forget important pieces of information? That's just one of my many talents. The secret is to stop thinking about the thing you want to forget and the many things. And the main thing is not to remember anything you don't need, to filter it. Get right to the essence. I'll teach you someday, unless I forget. 
Do you remember your parents, your past, or is that irrelevant too? All of it is irrelevant on the grand scale of world history. I've no reason to remember such things. Yeah, now forgive me for saying this, but you are out of your mind. What? What were you talking about? All right, yep. Yeah. So she just has the willful ability to forget anything and is either blocking that shit out as soon as it enters her mind, thus allowing her to avoid any such conversations, or she has some sort of a tra traumatic past that makes it so as she's like blocked it out entirely. Whatever. What is this encyclopedia? The Encyclopedia Galerian Galerianica will be published in 100 volumes, 1,000 pages, pages each, plus the author's addenda, appendices added by future co-authors, and critical commentaries. Addenda index <laughs> indexation is still a question. She looks slightly embarrassed. I just like the number 100. I'm not sure that I'll be able to keep within the estimated word limit. It'll be a majest magisterial, magisterial piece of scholarship that will become a part of a mandatory curriculum of every educational intuition worth mentioning. In it, I intend to describe every object, item, effect, event, fact, or personality that is present on or at least somehow related to Galarian. <sighs> My calculations show that I have completed no more than 1% of this monumental book. Cool. Eh, what were we talking about? Alright, let's 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 clarify some things with our new task. Your craving for knowledge will be immediately satisfied. Ask away. Apparently I already asked all that. She produces a crumpled piece of paper from her sleeve and takes some notes on it. This conversation lasted approximately five minutes. She lifts her chin. By the way, did you know that the exact same time amount of time it, the Inquisitors can the need to find a defendant guilty? But to shake off Inquisitors chasing you takes five times as long. That experiment proved that running while clad in heavy armor is not burdensome for them at all. So names aren't important. People around her generally aren't, don't seem to be important. But knowing that an Inquisitor takes 5 minutes to find someone guilty and then takes 25 minutes to get tired after running after that in individual is more important than remembering a name. I want to smash her face in. Oh, There's just something about some of these characters that make me go, I don't like you. And I want to bash all their faces in. Again. I get it. I understand the pursuit of knowledge and wanting to, you know, provide that for the world. I get it. I'm in place. That's all I'm saying. Uh. There's also the fact that every single time that I read pretty much any of her dialogue, I kind of feel like ripping out my tongue just so as I don't have to read the dialogue. <laughs> but that might be considered a little bit extreme. Right. Anyways, I was going to purchase a couple of potions. Oh, you got some half plate. Well, you don't have any magical shit, though, do you? Masterwork stuff. Most of this I'm pretty sure I sold to you in the first place. Uh, cast a can of the first or a first level spell deals one additional point of damage per die rolled. Not terrible. I put that into Ember's hands and that might be actually be pretty useful. Uh, what is this? Dark Omen. The wearer of this ring has the ability to cast spells spontaneously. It grants them the ability to cast the following spells. Ray of Enfeeblement, Scare, Ray of Exhaustion, Fear, and Waves of Fatigue. To cast a spell, the wearer still needs to have a spell slot of the required level. That's a pretty sweet ring. Oh yeah, I forgot I had the, uh, 
Blue of water equipped it on errant as well. Alright, what else do we have here that I might need? Ah, uh, potions. Um. Do I just want to straight up buy 35 potions of healing? It's tempting. Take bull strength. I'd take Cure Serious Wounds, but that is so expensive. Dark Veil. Once per day, you may use this item to grant your party total concealment against strange attacks for one minute. Pretty sweet. Deal. Take all the potions. Uh, can we just rest? sure that your beauty and softly spoken ways will always save you the day will come when they are not enough but when that day comes the spirits of Socorus will come to my aid I'm not saying I should take out some of the characters into the wild and then just brutal, brutally massacre them so I never have to deal with them again but did I fail that save? Also, I can't help but notice that my um, thing here is getting just a smidgen bigger. I don't know. It does seem like it takes a lot to shift it in any particular position. Like, I've done some chaotic stuff, I've done some good stuff, but it's definitely kind of still sort of stayed in this same place. Uh, but yeah, um, let's go ahead and give you these. Those are, those are glasses, all right. Oh, oh no. Demons, the demons are attacking. I just wanted some rest. Please talk to Ilrabeth as soon as you can. Help us defend the tavern. I was gonna do side quests. Uh, can I? One second, I'm gonna pop out. Can I just leave? Ah, great. Mm, thinking I can't leave yet. Bunch of tieflings. Oh, but these are the... These are the thieflings, aren't they? Puppy. Better go on home, pup. Don't think that the demons are gonna... Here... Hey, hold up a second. Where are you going? We got demons about to show up here any minute. We need every blade we can count on. Can't you de defend the de tav tavern without me? Take a look around. We're surrounded by wounded. We're only we were, we're only sleeping two or three hours a night. Our morale is lower than those caves we crawled out of. Got abyss knows how many demons coming for us. Might as well throw a relu and discard it in for good fortune. Now you, one of our best fighters, decided to pick up and leave just because. Walk out that door and wouldn't be surprised if half our garrison follows your lead and deserts us. Guess this, uh, guess this side quests are gonna have to wait up for a bit. Don't mind me, I'm also just suffering a little bit from filth fever. Godspeed. It's fine. Not like I need to level up to be able to face off against demons or anything. I don't know what you're talking about. Alright. In that case, I'm going to go ahead and save and call an episode here. What episode are we on? Six? Seven? Oh. Let's save it with an actual name. Uh, in this case, let's play. Or seven. 
survived. <sighs> but yeah, go ahead, save, call an episode here. When we return, I guess we're going to be defending the tavern against a bunch of demons. I don't know how much better a group of level three individuals are going to do against demons, but we shall have to see. So thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. I forgot to prepare new second level spells. Take care. Cheers. <laughs>